Hello, this is higher order equations lesson 1. In the previous lesson, we discussed about the quadratic equation, but the equation can have higher order. Now, ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. You can see that the order of this equation or degree of this equation is degree of this equation is 2 because the highest power of x is 2. So this equation is degree 2 equation that's why we call that called it as quadratic equation and it will have exactly two roots exactly two roots because this is a two degree equation or you can say that it's a quadratic equation it will have exactly two roots now look at this equation the ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d now you can see that its degree is 3 this equation degree is 3 because the highest power of variable x is 3 that's why the degree of this equation is 3 so as a 3 degree equation this is called as cubic equation and it will have exactly 3 roots now look at this equation this is a degree 4 equation its degree is 4 this is degree 4 equation and it will have exactly 4 roots roots means the value of x which satisfies the equation so there will be four values of x that will satisfy the last equation. So the same way you can continue with more degree. A five degree equation will have exactly five roots. A n degree equation will have exactly n roots. A n degree equation will have exactly n roots. Now next let's discuss how to form the equation from the roots. This we have learned in quadratic equation when the two roots are given alpha and beta equation will be x minus alpha into x minus beta equals to 0. Same is true for higher order equation. If three roots are given a, b and c equation will be x minus a into x minus b into x minus c equals to 0. That will be the cubic equation. Let's say the roots are 2, minus 1 and 5. So what will be equation? x minus 2, x minus minus 1 and x minus 5 all in product equals to 0. So you can say that this x minus 2 into x minus minus 1 will be x plus 1 into x minus 5 equals to 0. That will be your cubic equation. Same way if the four roots are given a b c and d the equation would be x minus a into x minus b into x minus c into x minus d equals to 0 so very simple as we used to form the equation from roots in quadratic the same uh, method is there in order to form the equation whenever three or four roots are given now next is how to find the sum or product of the roots there are formulas that you need to learn in the quadratic equation a x square plus bx plus c equals to 0. Let's say the roots are alpha and beta. So sum of the roots alpha plus beta was minus b by a. Product of the roots alpha beta was c by a. Similar uh, is true for the higher order equation. ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d equals to 0 this is a 3 degree equation so it will have 3 roots now let's say roots are uh, you can say that p q and r roots are p q and r 3 roots of this quadratic equation now some of the roots some of the 3, three roots would be p plus q plus r again is equals to minus b by a remember that b is the coefficient of x square in this case if b is 0, the sum of the roots will be 0. Now next is product of the roots taken 2 at a time. In this case, it is a bit different things. pq plus pr plus qr. You have to take all the combination. Product of the roots taken 2 at a time. pq, qr and pr. If you sum this, this will be equals to c by a. And then product of the roots p into q into r. Product of the roots would be equals to d by a minus d by a it's minus d by a so in this case uh, sum of the roots is minus b by a 
sum of the product of the roots taken two at a time. This is c by a. Product of the roots, all the three roots would be minus d by a. Let's understand this with example. Let's say uh, I am taking a cubic equation whose roots are 1, 2, 3. 1, 2 and 3 are the root of the cubic equation. Now what will be equation would be x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 equals to 0. I am making an equation. Can I say the first I am multiplying these two. I will get x square minus 3x plus 2. This is x minus 3 equals to 0. Now multiplying this you will get x cube minus 6x square plus 11x minus 6 equals to 0. So this is a cubic equation. This is a root 2 equation. Now equations are given. Let's say the same equation I am taking x cube minus 6x square plus 11x minus 6 equals to 0. I will uh, verify whatever dis discussed in the uh, just few minutes ago. Now let's say the roots are pqr. Assume that the roots are P, Q and R. We already know that know, know that roots are 1, 2 and 3. Now sum of the roots P plus Q plus R that is equals to minus B by A. Here B is the coefficient of X square. So minus of minus B, B is minus 6 here. A is 1. If you compare this equation with X cube, we have generalized first we have to compare this. Let's I am comparing ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d equals to 0. So a is 1, b is minus 6, c is 11 and d is again minus 6. So sum of the roots p plus q plus r is equals to minus of minus 6 by 1 minus b by a. You will get 6. Now you can verify that sum of the roots is 6. 1 plus 2 plus 3. We know, we know that the roots are 1, 2 and 3. So sum of the roots is 6. You can verify this. Because we already know the roots 1, 2 and 3, PQR 1, 2, 3. But I am just verifying this whether it is true or not. Sum of the product of the roots taken two at a time. PQ plus PR plus QR. This will be how much it equals? This equals to C by A. What is C here? C is 11, A is 1, 11. If you take product of the roots two at a time, uh, you will get answer as 11. Now you can verify this. Now what are the product of the roots? P into Q. You can take that this is P, this is Q and this is R. 1, 2, 3, uh, take it as P, Q, R. So P into Q is 2. P into R. 1 into 3 is 3. Q into R, 2 into 3 is 6. 6 plus 3, 9 plus 2, 11. Product of the roots P into Q into R will be equal to minus D by A. Again D is minus 6. So minus of minus 6 by 1 you will get 6. Product of the roots must be 6. You can see that product of the roots 1 into 2 into 3 will be 6. So that was all about high order equation lesson 1 basics. Thank you.